How many people are going to catch feelings over this, do you reckon? <laughs> Everyone. Alright, bad bars. We're here. <laughs> we in here, unfortunately. Oh, what? 100 bullets is Pokemon schemes in here. Hey, yo, Peter Morris. I'm going to pass out. For starters, I didn't write you any bad bars, but I got a ghastly scheme for you. Your horse see my charm and her pants come off, thrown across the freaking room. I squirt all over her jiggly puffs. When have you ever said, she's got a lovely pair of jiggly puffs? <laughs> I would love to squirtle on those. Being a Pokemon fan once or twice in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, it's really weird to talk about sex using Pokemon as metaphors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids cartoon. It's very Japanese, hentai, perversion. It's messed up, yeah. it's messed up. We yes. shouldn't really be going over those territory. Bullets is on the Savile list. Yeah, Bullets, Bullets is now on the Savile list. There's Gary Glitter, <laughs> Jimmy Savile, 100 Bullets. I'm like the Haitian earthquake with the greatest weird play. You're gonna get make me, cause you got no presents like a Jehovah's Witnesses birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so basically... Who said this firstly? Uh, this, this is GWE. Um, okay. <laughs> to be fair, he did have to set it up for probably one of the punchlines of the year. Uh, I've got no presents like a Jehovah's Witnesses birthday. Because... Yeah, okay. Yeah, My know. family's Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, not all of it, but some of them. Do, do, do they get birthday presents? No, they hate that shit. They don't get birthday presents? I don't think so. I don't buy birthday presents for family anyway, so I wouldn't know. My bars go deep like a scuba diving sheep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever. <laughs> but that's. <laughs> I see what he did there. A sheep goes. It would have been more appropriate, like, my bars go deep, like, I don't know his real name. The, the rapper Bards, like, like do 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 on holiday, Stop. scuba diving on holiday. You know what I mean? If you said that, that that would have made this compilation as well. I'm gonna bring some bard wordplay to my next battle. I'm not watching this next battle. You know, it's not just those types of bars that piss me off. It's the ones where people are like, "You won't win here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like a barbershop raffle. You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not. I like that one though, that's kind of funny. No, that was a freestyle, that. That was off the top. Yeah. Thesaurus is lucky he didn't get that one. <laughs> Cracker. Cracker. Cracker, how are you going to let down the fifth birthday cipher? Judging us because we're flipping pot heads, but don't make me like the room up man. This is not meth, tread lightly. I'm done when I say we're done. <laughs> it's over. I won. Uh, the problem with it, yeah, if you listen to the audio track of what you were saying, you wouldn't get it unless the album sleeve was just like a picture of you holding your, your hand over your eye and say, just wait for the closer. If that was the name of the album, just wait for the closer, and the picture was that, <laughs> you might actually get what you meant. Fuck you, cracker. Oh, Bagnellman, Babylon's couch. Now we're both on couches. <laughs> Fucking talking about how shit you were. Calm as a bitch, cracker. Yeah, yeah. I told you I'd get you back for that bullshit. I didn't like that bar at all. I thought that was shit. I hope you don't do that again. <laughs> I don't think anyone will give a fuck when I come to your ends and leave everyone in beds dead like I poison the factory that manufactures sleeping pills. You know that's where it came from. Let's be real, man. Long overdue, like a Hebrew coat. Also trash. Honorable mention from that bell. He said that as well in the same bell. Yeah, oh, there was so many. I was told I could only pick one. Change the rules. Cause I'm sure everyone here will agree when I say for me, a win is long overdue, like a Hebrew coat. So you going back to Bear Bar's idea? That whole style you're ripping off, decide your fate with a spinning top, you're soon to be placed in a bin of box, you need a prayer, that's a synagogue. You and Jew. You need a prayer, that's a sit no, it doesn't work no matter how much you try to force it. I'm ready? Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. It was one of those where you felt the whole room groan. Not like, uh, like, ah, oh, allow me, mate. Yeah. He said that, and he meant that. <laughs> because he wrote that, and then read that. <laughs> and he didn't throw it away, he kept that. 
The only thing worse than slow it downs is reversing bars. The one who made that spoon with the Reese, this actress female, and he rapping? Nah, he's not. Please don't assume. Reverse that. Assume? Don't. Please not. He's not rapping. He a female actress. This Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> what were you thinking, Cody? What were you thinking, bro? I, don't, I, I know you were trying new stuff. Don't try new things. It was fucking stupid. You just copied 100 bullets and it was shit. Well, I, as soon as I heard, you see that spoon wither, Reese? I knew what was coming. When would you ever say that a spoon's going to wither, Reese? Never, ever. Um, it makes no sense. This, 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 bar, this battle... Raw talent versus Koji. Trash bars. Not even bad bars. The whole thing was shit. Koji. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. But you get covered in hearses when trouble emerges. You live, you live in the fantasy world, but don't bring your bubble to surface because I'll bring something to burst it. And when I'm classed as the winner, I leave, I'll have one of the other fuckers to mark quick. And when I'm finished with them, it'll be like the meal after my dinner, the way I leave you and the others deserted. Again, that dessert, 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 blah, 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 it falls under this defeat and all of these sort of things, but Dust guys. that's not the problem with that part. Let's talk about covered in hearses. What does that mean? Um, you can have a six pack, you can push all the weights you like. I won't hit the gym. Why? I can't wait till you die. Mm. Right? Yeah. This is a really fucking important point, actually, that no one really fucking gets, is that the point of wordplay is, is that it has to make sense both ways. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not saying anything clever. You're just saying a, a word that sounds similar in a sentence that's completely unrelated. If you're going to the gym, you've got a six pack, you're looking after yourself. You're probably, probably eating right and stuff. You're probably eating right. Yeah. You've probably got a good diet. Especially if you've got a six pack. You can't get it without eating right. So, this guy's a healthy dude. You, you, you're probably not waiting for him to die. He's going to outlive you. Even okay? just being so bitter mentally that you're waiting on this person's death is going to cause you serious psychological damage after a while. While appreciating their like muscular abs and stuff. Yeah, it's just that's conflicted. Weird. What about this arc one, this German one? Does that that's this car? That's yeah, that's car. Let's, borderline. Let's let's talk about arc. I'm back, homie. <laughs> yeah, there, there was the unfortunate chipmunk scheme. But with that mouth and those teeth of yours, who knows how many nuts these teeth cheeks can store? And it's funny, you look so much like a chipmunk, but he wouldn't walk through that Theodore. Wow! Okay. 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 Oi. Oi, so what is occurring? So what is occurring? I don't care how long you rehearsed this. Yeah, he's the one that looks like the chipmunk, but in this battle, Alvin. Like a confident German. <laughs> You know, me and Bam fell out. I had to spend ages avoiding that Joel door. I was really <laughs> worried about it. I don't, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know when people are described as doors. Um, Ever. Alvin, like a confident German. Like basically, what he's doing there is. Do you know, I've never really understood it. Okay, so basically, what what he's trying to say is like, if you did a German accent, an English person, a German person speaking English. Uh, oh. Alvin. I, I thought I thought like Alvin was like a like a, a German term or something. Maybe, maybe this isn't a bad part. It went straight over his head. And you still couldn't get rid of me because they still will check because you can't fuck with disability. Ooh, yeah. What what kills me about a lot of these people that you see using other people's bars is like, oh, you guys clearly are massive fans of URL. You really really love gun bars. You really love emulating that style. Cool. Then why would you like? use a bar from like one of the biggest battles they've it's done. It's Disability is a bit of a das guys, da feet kind of fucking Yeah, and it falls straight into that. As well. You know that it's been said before. Talking about defeat, got one on here. Of course I fucking do. Scribs. Your breath smell like pickled onion. <laughs> Since you always swallow in defeat, that's probably why it smell like you've been licking bunions. That's why you never got another battle scripts. One thing that always disturbs me about this quickly, yeah, is any time you type in a celebrity name on Google, the first thing that is in the related search is feet. How much people out there are searching for celebrities' feet? If we're here to defeat any more 
you you will always as soon as someone says a defeat bar, just so it fucks you up and you choke if you do it again. Watch me, Err, and Bam. Swallowing defeat. That's probably why it smell like you've been licking bunions. <laughs> you need to be fully trained in how to lift the. As soon as you do that, we all trade glances and we laugh at you. If you see Shuffle T looking at me, staring dead into my eyes from the side of a room, it means you're trash. If you see Bam staring at me, it means you're trash. If you see Er staring at me, it means you're trash. If you see me and Kruger laughing at you, it's because we probably <laughs> talk about how trash you are in private and then we'll catch you. Shut up, Lita. Wait, so with clothes in mind, you need to invest in something that'll put a hole in tight. Because I don't know it's time I could get this shit heated and make your body warmer, like wearing your coat inside. What did you mean by making his body warmer? Are you going to give him a hug? <laughs> I ain't sense a definition on that chubby scouse guy. If I don't take your title, I'll punch you outside and drop tea on the floor like a clumsy housewife. Just because the wordplay makes sense, or whatever, doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Your whole, your whole fucking appearance is an inconvenience. When I open up a packet of what's it's, I think of your ginger penis. He wrote, every time I eat a what's it, I think of your ginger penis. He said that, and he meant that. <laughs> because he wrote that, and then read that. <laughs> and he didn't throw it away, he kept that. <laughs> right, liquid. My favourite guy. Let's discuss it. You made it through the tryout quarters, but when it comes to rapping, you're an exam in the sea. Mm. You're just testing the waters. Mm. The image of a kid doing an exam on like a little raft. Yeah. Like, but the raft's slightly sinking. Oh, I, I don't. It's really irresponsible to send a kid who needs to do his stats or his GCSEs out into the middle of the ocean. Yeah, I don't. I, I think it's really irresponsible. This guy sends game requests to children on Facebook in a slight attempt to be for children. Bro, this is a fucking battle. It's not rocky. So cut the small talk because it's more cheesy than a piece of Stilton. Oh god, oh no. no. Cheesier than a piece of cheese. Cheesier than brie. Breezier. Cheesier. Brie. <laughs> there is no need. Like, um. Whenever doing like wordplay or anything like that, if you're literally saying you're like this exact same thing that means the exact same thing. Shit. My schemes are so precise, I'm anal when I write like it's bum sex. When he's hitting C major, I don't mean a dumb flop rapper with the glasses. Couldn't have done. But, um. Yeah, it could have been me. What, like, yeah, don't. don't. If you have to say d don't flop rapper with the glasses. Terrible. Sink for the dub. Try angles that are crusty. Get a cheese on a pizza just for kicks. I could have him laced up with three lines as if I was wearing classic Adidas sneakers. So if Bard keeps on beefing, leave this chicken's onion wrapped up and peppered like I was creaming for heaters. For once, you know, I mean, like, creaming someone is such a 1950s, like. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're in Dick Tracy or if you're in fucking. Double indemnity. Bugsy so, Malone. Bugsy Malone. Were you in Bugsy Malone? He, he kind of looks like he an looks extra from Bugsy Malone. Malone he looks like an extra from Bugsy Malone. Why are you using 1950s wordplay? It sounds like you just escaped from the cast of Grease. No one says, oh, I'm going to cream you. Yeah. Catch him, see? I'm going to cream this guy. <laughs> He's going to get a bunch of fives. A bunch of fives. Yeah, bunch of I've never heard that one. There's a... Should we talk about the blue eyes white dragon himself? I think it might be time to be honest. Ricky C? Yeah. Crisis music? Legends. Legends. The, the problem with this though, yeah, is like a lot of people have messaged into me saying you have to talk about Ricky C and you have to talk about Crisis music. We really want to hear about them. They were shit. They got bad bars. They had no bars. Yeah. They didn't have any bars. Yo. Yo. Dialect is just like Simon says, fam, sit down, your mind are bled, I am a threat. Fret fam, this now entire round we're gonna make you man I feel a little bit embarrassed, especially when I tell Leeds and real name is Faris. Yeah, way, <laughs> yo Faris, sucker phallus, you by battle rappers. I handle my matters, blue eyes, white dragon, and I'm smacking these actors. What is a blue eyed white dragon? We fought with your rep in Leeds, bro. Will chomp you to your people. <laughs> no, after this be equal. News. Respect after. They like the thing about the oh, blue eyes white dragon is so hard. <laughs> Should we talk about? Hulk and Sniper's Harry Potter spells to 
See, see while, we're, while we're on this magical scene, maybe just... While we're talking dragons, yeah. dungeons, full of sorcery bars, so, so to make it equal, we went and learned some spells too. Winlazium oh. Afloa! He just turned your mum into a bat's wing. Belazium <laughs> Masanosna! <laughs> that wasn't even a spell, he just said Cracker's got a fat chin. <laughs> She likes to jingle bells, Scrooge your mates and cousins, it's fun. And when she's merry, she'll take it so far, nothing could stun. I bought a large Toblerone for your slotty cunt mum, cos I can fit the whole bar up a pom pom. No, you're 26, 27, youth. It's true. I expect to see that at a year six play, baby. Yeah, don't do Christmas bars. We should not do themes. I mean, <laughs> we're not, like, my, like, my least favourite. Well, I've got loads of things that I hate about battle rap, but fucking, when someone's like, I'm gonna take you to the kitchen, so I'm not forking around when I spoon you, knife to meet ya. No, don't. <laughs> Has <laughs> anyone said that? What, knife to meet ya? Yeah. No, I don't know. Or even stop forking around, is it? So, don't, don't fork with me. No, probably. <laughs> you just chatting out your anus claiming you a star You gonna need Bag Bagnall to intervene or suffice I'm going hard because I'm a merc you real easy You ain't touching my bars I'm on the front line catching grenades going Bruno Mars Hit. I'm just gonna introduce a theme that has nothing to do with the person I'm rattling And then make up some weird schemes about it It's all been laid out there in the Bad Bars battle as well yeah, What yeah. to do I thought it would be only fair to Just kind of crown a, a king of this shit to, to give a king of Bad Bars and actually just do a collection of their best because they were so, because the bad bars were so frequent, I thought it was only fair to actually crown them, showcase and crown. So the winner of bad bars, should we should we just go for a, a few bad bars before we say who they are? Yeah. You'll hear Baraka Baraka, like there's two Obamas outside. For one, you wouldn't, it'd be, you wouldn't be hearing necessarily. <laughs> <coughs> Not at all. Because if there was, let's say that. Yeah, Obama's twin. been cloned. This twin. Cloned. Yeah. They're both called Barack or Obama. Yeah. You know, they both got the exact same name. Um, Barack. It's Barack, not Baracka as well. It's Barack. Yeah, it is. So that doesn't make sense for a start. But you would likely see, you know, that that's how it makes sense. But it's just, if you have to say, if you have to make someone up for it to make sense, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You look head. like most prob. If most prob, most probably didn't look like most prob. That's like a that's like a quadruple negative. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you, you said that, that that's the same as a double negative. It's just you're, you're basically saying I shouldn't have said this line. That line means this line doesn't make sense and shouldn't be said. I think he said this to Tongue Twister. He did. He did say it to Tongue Twister. He doesn't look anything like most prop, so yeah, yeah, that is right. You are telling him he doesn't look like most prop. He didn't need to know that, he kind of probably gets. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a white joke. Yeah, this is the best one ever. And a black joke. You're going to be dreaming of a zebra. It just... It hurts my head. That's the worst thing about these things. <laughs> you probably guessed who it is by now. <laughs> Because I ain't talking about you being the best to go in the obvious angles when I say you're the master at being bait. Because all you do is spit irrelevant moments, and I think it's fucking horrible. Because I ain't gonna talk about how you've been around since Vesaurus, your bonus, or the fact that you look like you're struggling with rigor mortis. Those are just filler sorcery bars. Because I ain't looking to take over the world. Because this is OMG versus who is he? Because if you ever hear me say that I'm flexible, that means when I flex, I pull. <laughs> I was a bad boy from day. You could say I had Tourette's in school. The type to come round your yard and maybe swipe an old DVD. Scratch that. I'm a type of guy to see a girl not a DV then give her the D. Fuck that. I'm a type of guy to find your mum, give that bitch the D and leave that skate with VD. You see what I did there? D, D, V, D, D. Fuck it, it's irrelevant. When your body type looks like a polystyrene trolley store. I'm gonna throw a black joke and then a white joke you'll be dreaming about a zebra. I'm about to get indirect like debit. Call it Debenhams. Your skin complexion looks like yeast infection of a gone off kebab at a Greek reception. It tells me you look like the white version of Keenan from Good Burger. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. And I ain't talking Beverly Hills when I say you cop something. I mean, he's so much of a professional pedo, he likes putting 15 year old girls at quarter past three. 15, 15. Think about it. Because you're 
the most funniest of all races. Don't worry, I ain't gonna get racist. I'm just telling everyone that you got two faces. See, we can raise the stakes, kid. Don't try trading places. I'll leave your tea ripped like you forgot to tie your laces. Problem with you, tongue twister. Some of your bars are gravy, but grim. That's like mixing Bista with Perno. You Asian looking Norbit. After I touched down in your end zone, I knew I was gonna blaze innuendo in the endo like I was soaking endo. Is this the end? No. Blood, you're so gay that you wish Stephen Hawking was walking so you could suck off his foreskin. This ain't forcing. Because the closest you'll ever get to battling being reckless and going ham abroad is tackling the intercontinental breakfast at your grand's house in York. Woo! I'm the black guy you catch at events shying ad libs while they're rapping. How can he? You would think he was a retired gynecologist the way he turns his back on Fanny. You tell when I heard you were Yorkshire bisexual, so you fuck Emma and Dell. Plus, you kind of look like most prob, if most prob, most probably did look like most prob. <laughs> Fam, you ain't five foot nine and stocky. I'm five foot nine and stocky, you're more five foot eight and podgy. <laughs> Cut his luck short, no clover leaf. I ain't talking dead meat when the cause of death was him dying over beef. Wait, who can think of bars like that? Only me. I can't PG tits, but then again, that's how you open tea. Cause it's the coroner that I'm sending him. He's falling down the order so much that after this battle, his career's gonna be descending. No, I said, he's falling down the order so much that after this battle, his career's gonna be this ending. He's standing there looking like Carl from The Simpsons diagnosed with a pile of symptoms. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what dialect you're speaking, you always take an L, you knock. You're just a hologram boss. Mother! <laughs> I'm a tough cookie, so how do you expect to beat me? I mean, after I make these jabs digest, I've... Whenever Zen's rapping, people are yawning. I mean, he's so much of a Mormon that Zen puts the Zen in. Zen is so fucking boring. I mean, even if you had the biscuit and robbed the bank, you still couldn't be rich. T. Time. Congratulations. Congratulations.